Hi, in this video, we're going to graph the inequality x is greater than negative 5 sevenths. The first thing you need to do is decide where does negative 5 sevenths fall on the number line. Because 5 is less than 7, the top is smaller than the bottom, the fraction itself is less than 1. But because it's negative, we would say it falls between negative 1 and 0. What does that mean for us? Well, negative 5 sevenths, which is also about negative 0.7 if you divide it in the calculator, will fall right about here. Now, when we're graphing inequalities, we are going to use either a parenthesis or a bracket at the point. If the number is included, you will use a bracket. If it's not included, you use a parenthesis. So that means greater than or less than are going to have the parentheses that could open right or left, just depending on the problem. If it's or equals, then you use a bracket. Now, in this case, I don't know which way my parentheses needs to go at this point. Which way it goes is based off of a test point. What do I mean by test point? Well, I like to test a zero because it's the simplest number to plug in. If your test point works, you shade in that direction. If it doesn't work, you shade in the opposite direction. So let's test x equals zero. When I plug that into the inequality, I get zero is greater than negative 5 sevenths, which is a true statement. That means that when I go to my number line, I'm going to shade towards the zero, which in this case is to the right. And that told me which direction my parentheses opens because it has to open towards the shading. So now I know that I have an open parenthesis to the right. And that's how you graph the inequality x is greater than negative 5 sevenths.